So I guess we're going to move on to our next speaker, which is uh, Dr. Stoyan Sargoychev, who obtained his PhD in physics from Bulgarian Academy of Sciences in 1984. Um, and he worked on space research projects of program InterCosmos, coordinated by former Soviet Union. From 1990, he was a visiting scientist at Cornell University. And from 92, he took position as a scientist at a Canadian government institution working on space and atmospheric science research. His participation in diversified interdisciplinary project inspired him to develop a theory from that it's actually, okay, don't worry. This theoretical work that actually um, is entitled Basic Structure of Matter, Supergravitation and Unified Theory that was published in 2001. And I guess this is what we're gonna hear about today. He retired from York University in 2013 and he now works with World Institute for, Institute for Scientific Explorations. Thank you for the opportunity to present this my work. I could, would like to say that is my lifetime work, accumulated from many, from working in different fields. In nanotechnology, the physical dimensions are important. The nanomaterials exhibit some new physical properties which are difficult to predict by quantum mechanical models. Quantum mechanics, by definition, works only with energy levels. Therefore, a, a complementary physical models based on the physical dimensions of length uh, should, be, should be possible, should be needed. Quantum mechanical models also do not predict the chemical bond direction. They cannot provide a classical explanation of the spin of the elementary particles and atomic nuclei, why the neutron has a magnetic moment and the electron has an anomalous one, what is the size of the Rydberg state of the atoms, and so on. The definition of Coulomb barrier, according to quantum mechanical models, also makes impossible the explanation of some observed nuclear transmutations at uh, low temperature, also called low energy nuclear reactions. This and other problems raise the question, are the quantum mechanical models only mathematical restricted only to energy levels. A new look into the scattering experiment on which base the planetary models of the atoms is adopted also raises such a question. These experiments have only angular resolution. An assumption is used that all elementary particles and atomic nuclei have a spherical shape. A different shape will affect the data interpretation significantly. In the scattering experiment at the time of Rutherford, alpha particles from radioactive isotopes were used with energy much below 25 mega electron volts. By using extrapolation for high energy, Rutherford arrived to the conclusion that the size of the atomic nuclei uh, in order of the femtometer. This is a basic point for the Rutherford Bohr model of hydrogen that became a reference point for the quantum mechanical models of the atoms. A half, a half a century later, when particle accelerator accelerators were developed, scattering experiments with particles uh, energy above 25 mega electron volts are made by a few researchers. They found a sharp deviation from the Rutherford extra extrapolation. This is shown in the upper middle uh, slide. Recent modern scattering experiment detect quite complex features 
but trying to bind to the established model, they use the same assumption that all particles are spherical. And they assign the complex feature to the hypothetical electron screening effect. James Maxwell, the father of the classical electrodynamics, was a stronger believer in the existence of a space medium. Even Einstein, in 1929, after he developed his theory of general relativity, he raised the warning that the physical vacuum is not a classical empty space. Otherwise, the quantum mechanical features cannot be explained. Today, in order to preserve the adopted space concept that is fundamental for many theories, the acceptable term is a physical vacuum. The treatise, basic, structure, basic structures of matter, supergravitation unified theory, started from the concept of space, but according to the Maxwell's predictions for existence of space medium. The theory suggests a detailed physical model of invisible superfine structure of the physical vacuum that I call the cosmic lattice. And it leads also to the conclusion that the elementary particles that build the atomic nuclei are built by the same, by the same building blocks. the same building blocks that built this structure. At the same time, these building blocks are from superdense matter. Further analysis leads to the conclusion that this superdense matter makes a microcurvature in the space surrounding the nucleus. This means that near the atomic nuclei, the space is not linear. This provides the answer why quantum mechanics based on the linear space model, cannot work with the physical dimension of length. It appears that the atomic nuclei are fractal three-dimensional structures matching perfectly to the, pat to the pattern of periodic table and giving a logical answer for many unsolved problems. The main advantage of the suggested atomic models is the possibility for modeling in a sub-nanometric scale. The following graphical images show some demonstration of this approach.